Hi, it's Maggie Smith with SuperSavvyMommy.com. Um, I'm here for my five-month check-in for my Sinspiration Weight Loss Challenge. Holy cow, Thanksgiving was just a couple days ago. It's Sunday, and the holidays are upon us. And boy, that you know that usually means that it's diet fail time. Um, but it's been game on for me for since since. Um, I'm really trying to you know rewrite the way that my brain thinks about the holidays and. And the way my brain thinks all the time, as a matter of fact, and choosing better foods for me, um, they don't always have to be the perfect choice because obviously life happens and, you know, you can't always have exactly what you want and the healthiest options. But I feel like if you can make a better choice than something that's in front of you that you really, really want, um, you're going to go far. So a couple tips that I've had that have helped me stay successful over this Christmas or over this Thanksgiving period um, the first one, um, it was kind of, it might seem like a small sacrifice, but I chose um, white meat over dark meat um, for Thanksgiving. And I usually always like to eat the crispy, awesome turkey skin. And I didn't have any turkey skin this year. And I had white meat. And it was still really good. And I still use a little bit of gravy because it's Thanksgiving and who doesn't like gravy? <laughs> but I made that better choice and I felt better about it in the long run. And I didn't have any mashed potatoes. Um, I, I kind of felt like I didn't really need that carb. I wanted to pick and choose the different carbs that I had. And if I wanted to have a little sliver of pumpkin pie or a glass of wine, I decided that it wasn't going to def definitely need the mashed potatoes or the sweet potatoes. Even I don't know, A sweet potato would normally be a, a good choice, but my mother-in-law likes to pack a whole bunch of brown sugar and butter on it. And that definitely is not a diet friendly food. Um, and then another thing I did was I made sure that I had a, um, one of my meal bars for breakfast on Thanksgiving morning. And I had a whole bunch of water. And then for lunch, uh, we went over to my in-laws house and, you know, they had snacks and whatnot out. So I chose some, um, vegetables and dip. Um, and I had my, my meal bar for lunch as well. While everybody else was snacking on cheese and meat and, um, a lot of other things, and then for dinner, I did have, you know, Thanksgiving dinner, and I had a little bit of pie and had some wine. So, you know, I, I felt like I could participate and do everything that I wanted to do and enjoy Thanksgiving without having to give up everything entirely, which I think is a really big thing that, um, you know, to keep in mind for the holidays. You know, the holidays usually are about overindulging and having a great time. And I found that you can still indulge a little bit and still have a fantastic time and not feel like you're on a complete diet mission. Um, one other really neat thing that I think I'm going to do between now and the end of Cinch, which we only have like a month left, which is unbelievable. Um, I'm not going to update anybody on my weight and I'm not updating anybody on my inches. I'm just going to wait until the very end to do that. So it's kind of like a, you know, aha moment. And, but I have done my pictures for this month and they are going to be, um, right below. So this post right below this video on my post, you'll be able to see my, my pictures, um, from June until now. Um, November, and they're taken almost exactly five months apart, which is pretty awesome. And today, as a matter of fact, is one month until Christmas. Oh, crazy. So in this last month, I'm really going to rededicate myself even more to Cinch um, and, and to myself. I mean, I still have been doing the two two um, meals a day, um, replacing it with a meal bar or with a shake, and then eating a, a sensible dinner. And I'm going to just really vamp it up and you know, kick into high gear and see what other results we can have for this month. So I look forward to seeing at the end of the six months. I know that my my mind, my body, and my attitude have significantly changed for the better. And I know that people around me have seen this big change. So I'm really excited um, to have been on this journey of self-realization and self-awareness. And I'm totally stoked for the new year because even though my Sinspiration weight loss challenge is going to be over... I, my own personal weight loss challenge is not going to be over, not until I hit my goal weight, and I've got a few more pounds to go, I mean, quite a few more pounds to go, but I started, and I was pretty heavy to start with, so I'm really happy with the progress I've made so far, and I can't wait to kick it into high gear and see you in about four more weeks. Thanks.